Lord, listen to your children praying. Lord, send your spirit in this place. Lord, listen to your children praying. Send us power, send us love, send us grace. Play anywhere near the right key. So um, the Lord's Prayer has been a big part of my life. I always uh, knew it about being about forgiveness. And in the margin of my Bible, I heard a preacher preach one time. He said, uh, give us this day our daily bread. And in the margin, I wrote of forgiveness, our daily bread of forgiveness, which we need to keep in mind every day. And so my story goes back, and I... Uh, most of you know my story, where I came from, and it's been a long journey. It's been a hard journey, uh, trying to get feel forgiveness for what something I had done to someone, my family and church members and people that I had uh, been had been affected by what my decision to leave uh, when I left my wife. So uh, Tammy and I had uh, became pastors at Kreiner Baptist Church in 1992. And we met this couple there, and they were, we instantly became buddies. I mean, travel buddies. We did everything together. Uh, Wayne and Lois, they're wonderful people. They were in their late 70s at that time, and it was kind of an odd couple type thing, but we went on vacation together, and we uh, went out to eat together, uh, became caretakers for them some after uh, Lois had become ill. And there came a time when she got really sick and uh, had a cancer, and her children put her in a nursing facility in Midwest City, I believe it was, or out, out that way. And they told, her children told the nurses to keep them sedated and not to let us come around. They didn't want us to be in their presence. Well, we helped them get a lawyer and uh, sat across from her children in the courtroom and uh, the judge deemed that she was worthy to get to go home, and it was contingent on Tammy and I going and uh, being their caretaker until she got to where she was well. Well, sometime back when I was managing the grocery store, I had found a, somebody cashed in a roll of buffalo nickels, and they were it's nickels are two dollars a roll, and uh, Wayne, I took him to Wayne because he loved old stuff like that, and. I poured him into a baby food jar and gave him to him, and that was years ago. And uh, when Mark Maddy went into the hospital, I started uh, staying at his house, house sitting, and I was really enjoying the solitude because I have two roommates at my house, so I was really enjoying getting to be over there by myself. And one night my phone rang while I was sitting there, basking in my uh, solitude, loving it, and it was Lois's son the one who had sat across from us in the courtroom. And I thought, started not to answer it, but I thought, I'm going to answer it and see what's going on, because I thought maybe they were... When I left, I never spoke to those people again. 
I, lost, I was embarrassed uh, about what had happened, so I never spoke to them. And it was probably one of the, it was as bad as hurting my parents. Hurting them was as bad as hurting my parents. So uh, I answered the phone and he said, John, this is, he told me his name. And I said, yeah. He said, you remember me? And I thought, well, he's going to jump on me, you know. I said, yeah, I remember you. And he said, well, did you ever give Wayne a roll of, a bucket of wooden, a bucket of uh, buffalo nickels? And I said, yeah, I did. And he said, well, he's been about to drive my mother, and he used a bunch of expletives, crazy over those nickels. And I said, yeah, I gave him some nickels. He said, here, talk to Wayne. And I hadn't talked to Wayne in almost seven, well, this is over six years. And he asked me how I was doing. He said, do you remember giving me those nickels? And I said, yeah, I did. He said, uh, are they worth anything? I said, they're worth $2 because buffalo nickels aren't worth anything. And he said, well, I just wondered. He said, they didn't believe that you did, that you gave me some nickels. And he said, they're gone. He said, here, talk to Lois. And he handed the phone over to Lois. And um, she said, we just wondered why you never called us. And I said, Lois, I was embarrassed, and I didn't know what to say to you. And she said, you know, we serve a God who is a forgiving God. And she said, who would we be if we didn't forgive you for hurting us? And long story short, they said, you're welcome at our house anytime. And she handed the phone back to her son, and he said, now you get your down here and visit these people. He said, they love you. And I, that's my story about, you know, sometimes we need to receive forgiveness as well as we need to give it to others. And so my six-year journey, it, they said at the beginning, it'll get better, John. And I'm going, it ain't never going to get better. It's never going to get better. But when I was sitting in Mark Maddie's living room that night, my journey got better. Amen. Here, here. Come, share the feast of the Lord. 